Hello viewers, welcome to Magis Chemistry Classes. In this presentation, we will discuss about MCQs and atomic models. Period number one, la, atomic models are a theory part in the last video. We'll discuss in the area of the multiple choice questions and answers with detailed explanation in the presentation. The question number one. Rutherford carried out experiments in which a beam of alpha particles was directed at a thin piece of metal foil. From this experiment, he concluded that. So it is a conclusion part of the Rutherford experiment. Rutherford experiment is a conclusion part of the center part of the nucleus. That is a portion of the nucleus. Surround by the body is the electrons, negatively charged particles, electrons are formed in the concept. He identified the nucleus in the atom. So, the concept. So, the conclusion of the electrons are massive particles. Our day concept based on the man of the head. So, the other mass is Then, fastly charged parts of atoms are moving about with the velocity of approaching a speed of light wrong. Then the positively charged parts of the atoms are extremely small. So the concept of the and extremely heavy particles. Electrons travel in circular orbits around the nucleus. These are the nails for the conclusion. So your answer is C. Okay. Move to the next one. Which of the responses contains all the statements that are consistent with the Bohr theory of the atom? And notice. Core theory is the okay, concept conclusion of the base money. Therapy. An electron can remain in a particular orbit as long as it continually absorbs radiation of a definite frequency. That is the electron in the orbit revolve. The energy is absorbed by the radiation. What is the radiation? It uh, absorbs radiation. So it is wrong. Then, the lowest energy orbits are those close to the nucleus. So, for example, first cell load energy, then second cell load energy, third cell load energy. So, the energy we calculate the lowest energy cell is the nearest one. N1 is the lowest energy. So, N increases, energy increases according to the concept. The lowest energy orbits are closest to the nucleus of being the right statements. Then third one, electron can jump from K cell, that is n is equal to 1, major energy level, to the M cell n is equal to 3, by emitting radiation of definite frequency. If on the N1 learn the N3 can on the jump under, this is on the lowest energy, this is on the highest energy. If on the N1 learn the energy, absorb on the N3, then on the N3 can go to the N3, so it is wrong. So the answer is, B. Okay. Move to the third one. The force that allows the electrons to move around the nucleus. Electrons from the nucleus to the move out the or particular energy orbit move out the the path. So each orbit has a fixed energy. So this is a concept to explain button both. This is electrostatic force of attraction. Then centrifugal force and force operate out. So other than the one out in the electrons on the and I'm going to move around the nucleus. Your answer is C. The according to Bohr's atomic model, the radius of orbit is directly proportional to the radius on the formula conductor. That is R is equal to N squared by Z. N principal quantum number K L M N is the dividing the atomic number. Now in the question that according to Bohr's theory, the atomic model, the radius of orbit is directly proportional to either principal quantum number directly proportional that is n squared your answer is a okay so it's on the derivative in a particular form according to Bohr's atomic model the angular momentum of orbital is so angular momentum in the derivative which one that is m b r is equal to n h angular momentum the l is equal to m b r is equal to n h by 2 by question the angular momentum of orbit is a multiple of h by 2 by the answer is 
question number six the radius of the hydrogen atom on going to the first excited the state is dash of the both radius so double half four times radius of the hydrogen atom on going to the first excited state is dash of the both radius so radius we already calculated one that is r is equal to n squared by z first excited state of being the n one to n two so r one but being na n squared well one squared is it one so your answer is 0.53 angstrom first radius as the exit i is second orbit of power move now two squared by one of the return the n squared over then z is equal to atomic number so it's common one so your answer will be four into zero zero point five three angstrom your answer is c clear what is the question number seven the energy of each orbit is energy of the each energy of the each orbit is the same or the other and n grad closest orbital n1 n raise or raise or energy raise or so it is fixed energy or fixed or the energy and then up another one gain or the last one has it so when you supply the energy it will be increased so the answer is b fixed how many atomic orbitals are present in the fourth energy levels of an atom atomic orbitals so today how many atomic orbitals are present in the particular orbit the formula is n squared simply so it is related to the quantum number concept n squared so fourth is several of being it is 16. question number nine when electrons move from the higher energy level to the lower energy level the energy is emitted by n is equal to one so four slides the last four slides now discuss when you go n is equal to three or n is equal to five so it is shifted to the uh, n is equal to five it energy is absorbed the electrons tends to comes to the first lowest energy level so it releases a energy so higher energy to level to lower energy level the energy is emitted answer is b which of the following will have the same radius as first cell of hydrogen atom so radius number calculate when you know radius common number formula n squared by z into 0 0.53 angstrom n squared by z into 0 0.53 angstrom so in the case of n is equal to 2 so it is it will be 4 there will be lithium atom the atomic number is 3 3 into 0 0.53 in the case of 4 divided by beryllium atom atomic number 4 into 0 0.53 in the case of 2 2 squared of 4 divided by helium atom 2 into 0 0.53 n is equal to 3 so it is 9 divided by 2 into 0 0.53 clear the radius of the first cell of hydrogen atom is nothing at 0 0.53 angstrom so it is 0 0.53 angstrom rather than the b your answer is this one Okay. Question number 11. The speed of the electron in the second orbit of the helium atom. Speed of the electron, again a formula would come, that is the velocity of the electron in the nth cell is given by formula 2.18 into 10 power 6 is set by n meter second inverse. So second orbit of the helium atom. Second orbit of the helium atom is 2.18 into 10 power 6. Second orbit and the helium atom, atomic number 2 and n is equal to 2. So cancel your answer is 2.18 10 to power of 6 meter and so your answer is A. So velocity, energy and the radius in the formula is all me. Niels Poland is the easy one. Okay, guys, I hope that this presentation is useful to you. Thank you for watching.